So this video looks at two things. Firstly, it looks at the word and, and then we're going to look at the punctuation mark comma. And we look at uh, some sounds as well. The word and is spelt as you say it. Uh, so it's a and d and. And it's usually used to connect two uh, statements together. So for instance, I am going for a walk and I'm going to collect berries. And that can sound better than having two separate sentences. We can also use it when we want to say two things about something rather than repeating ourselves. So for instance, rather than saying the house was red and the house was tall, where I'm repeating myself, I could say the house was red and tall. The fox was orange and fast. So a comma is used um, when we want to pause in a sentence. So it's kind of like taking a breather um, in maybe a long sentence. But also we use it when we're making lists about things. So we might use and to say something is green and fast. But if we've got several objects, then we can separate it with a comma. So the man was fast, tall and old. So you can see with that sentence I used a comma, the man was fast, comma, tall and old. Notice how I separated the last two by the word and. So we often use and and commas together as well when we're making lists and the last item should be and. But remember then that and is either used to connect two statements together or it's to say two things about an object without repeating ourselves and a comma is like a little pause or a breather in a sentence. So the sound we are going to look at today is made up of e, a and r, e, a and r. And the trouble with e, a and r is that it can be pronounced in three different ways. So you have to remember that you might be saying it differently depending on the word is. So let's have a look at some of the different ways. By here we've got a pair. So the E, A and R is being pronounced air. So when we're saying these, seeing these three word letters together, it's air. For instance, we might wear something, ooh, air. Or we might come across a bear, but air. This is another use of the E, A, R. But we don't say a tear, we say a tear. So this time the E, A and R has become ear. So whereas before it was where, bear, now it's a tear, fear, near. So that E, A and R has become ear. Our last version of it is when we use in the sound of year. So in this instance we've got the year but we also have it in here and a year. That is the new year. So here are a few examples of where we would use it. A pear and a fox. Remember the ox sound from the last video? And this is where we're using the air sound and because I'm talking about two different things rather than saying a pair a fox I've connected these two very short statements together with the and the dish fish and bear so this is an example of where we use that air sound with the EAR notice this time I've made a list so I've put a comma in first of all to separate the first two items 
and then before I get to the last item I use a and so it's the dish pause fish and bear uh, by here we've got a pig ox and fox again that list where the first two items have been separated by a comma and then the last item is just after an and so we've looked at and and commas and is where we connect two sentences together or use it at the end of a list and a comma is a, a pause or used in list to separate the first items and then we use the sound uh, of the letters e a and r a r and r for air ear or year 